from your dad. Look at that aggressive face, guys. It's not good around feed and children. Just these horrible faces all the time. It's horrible. Horrible, get back. Horrible ears. Is there any way I can get that out of them? Look at that pain again. I'm being showed for today, Charlotte. Yeah. Here we go into your friends. Friend Emma. Jackie. Yeah. Oh, Emma. Your friend Emma. And can you give me the little explanation? So, uh, Emma bought Ollie almost by accident. Uh, went to look at another one. As, what breed is Ollie? Uh, full Connemara. Okay. A bay, from Ireland? A or? bay Connemara. Yeah, from Ireland. A bay Connemara. Okay. Um, went to look at another horse. The dealer bought it out of the uh, stable and she said, oh, don't like that. Don't know why. She just didn't like the feel of it. Yeah. Then she said, I like that one over there. And he said, that one's not for sale yet, but that was all. So she didn't go to look at Ollie, but she no. decided she liked Ollie. And how old's Ollie? Four. Well, he's five yeah. now. Right. Okay. Um, so within a few days, she was on fun rides with him. Oh, I um, remember. I've yeah. seen her with a, with a, a little daughter. Yeah. Oh my life! They have such fun. Yeah. So riding, really? So riding, great. Mm -hmm. Has fun with the this um, Connemara. Yeah, over the beach, stood in the sea. So why am I heading there? Um, she said there's only one thing that bothers her. One thing that bothers yeah. her, yeah. She said when she brings him in at feed time, he pulls some horrible faces. Never ever launched, never ever bitten, never ever kicked, but it's a warning and it's something that she doesn't really know how to deal with. It's just... Horrible, horrible, get back. Horrible ears. Right, okay then, so. Okay, so she wants some advice. Please have a little look see how bad it is because with children around that's very wise yeah uh, i think she's a great horsewoman really from what i've seen of her with you yeah. um very very brave would you say very, very brave, brave. Um, no messing she feels safer on than leading what any horse any horse. horse like when we're out and about and i said oh i'm yeah. going to take george for um a walk to the beach she's like no no get on things like if we were going yeah. field, through a field full of cows she would never dream of getting off she would be on. You took George with cows? I took George to see cows, yeah. Oh, right. I didn't know that one. So I decided to bring George for a walk and I was really hoping that the cows would be out. Baby's George, we're not scared of baby cows, are we? Hello. Did you not hear, guys? I am the cow whisperer. I know cows now. I had a little lesson at Charlotte's. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Good boy, George. Say, I'm not scared of cows. I like cows. Okay, then, so we're just going through Crundo. How far is this going to go now? Very far, so just the other side of half of us. Yeah. So the video's about to start now, guys, uh, with Charlotte's friend's horse, Emma. is uh, is Charlotte's friend. Now, I've seen Emma out a few times um, with the little coloured pony there with the daughter. And Emma's a great, great horse person, I'll be honest with you, and she really enjoys her horse. Um, especially this one um, that she's bought. Now, it's been, I think she's probably had the horse about a year-ish, something like that. And the horse is doing so so well. And I would say that Charlotte said, Dad, please, she, said, she asked me quite a few times, actually, to go and help Emma. And it got to a stage where Charlotte said, come on, Dad, please, can you go and have 
have a look now because Emma had said in the field now, even going and taking a bit of feed into the field, um, the horse is, is rearing and pinning ears and, and Emma knows it's getting dangerous, um, has enough about her to know, okay, we've gone as far as we can go now with this. The children could get hurt, she could get hurt and horses will only threaten for so long and then something will happen and it's not as if they haven't um, warned us enough, you know. But suddenly it's got to where the problem needs, needs looking at now. And that's what this is about. So I'm not blaming Emma for letting this go on. I can understand why she did it. And she's a sound of mind enough and a good enough horseman, horsewoman to know now things have to change. Here was where the, uh, just about to meet the horse properly. I've only ever seen the horse before, but never touched the horse. And uh, now we're going to meet the horse and see what I can do to start a program to improve this. Uh, and it's very set in its ways with this. Uh, it's come, things are symptom of cause. It's come from somewhere, whether the way it was with the herd or, or uh, uh, you know, another reason, I don't know. Uh, but here we go. Oh, you go. There's the wonder ponies. Dad, this is Ella's new wonder pony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This has to this has to replace teeny Bernie ba Bertie basket. Hello. This is oh. That one there. good boy. Oh, we are scared you. Do you not scare you? Oh yeah. Teeny weeny boom booms. Good boy. Oh, Dad, do you know why they had to put such giant fencing up? Because this pony jumps it! Hence why he's got his name. Pony jumps it? Yeah, <laughs> honestly. The, the, yeah, he, he's a machine. Hello. Pretty boy. Well, I certainly wouldn't have him come in to me with the feet. Right. You're going in, I wouldn't, I would stop that. Because he's come in to his feet and you go, you're there. Yeah. So whatever happens, he ends up moving you in his mind away from that feed. Yeah, yeah. I know you said you back him up and all of that. And then, but, but each day you're coming in with the feed and he's ended up taking that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Just see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so we've got to try as well. We've got to try and have a think. Oh, he's a chunky monkey, isn't he? Yeah. He's getting so... Honestly, he looks amazing. He has, like, this feel to himself and just filling out. And he goes he, down there, doesn't he? Because that's yeah. the, the mound that he <laughs> runs over. There's only one way... Well, there's three ways they can voice their opinion on how they feel about things. One is those. Yeah? Yeah. Two is... Obviously, they've got the voice, but with humans, they don't really use that. So they've got that, they swish the tails, yeah. and they kick. So there's three three yeah. main things. So, so, so far, he's never kicked. He's never kicked. Right, what I'm going to do, I want you to just walk around and stop a few times. Yeah. See whether you'll start. Uh, um. Sorry guys, there is a little bit of wind noise here, but it sort of comes and goes. Yeah, his bum's getting way bigger, isn't it? Yeah, now back him up three or four paces. Back, 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 back. Good boy, back. Yeah, back. okay. Good boy. And again, just walk him around and start. Let me get my flag. Have you got the flag? i got flag here. Okay. Usually, you know, back him up a couple of paces. Back, back, back. back. Yeah, that's pretty... Yeah, you could do it like... Really go with that. Well, you know. Yeah. Well, I haven't uh, done any of that. Don't, uh, that's his shot uphill, although it is good. But he's a bit, you know, he's a bit older. Really builds them up. You back them up uphills. Yeah, yeah. They get small underneath yeah, themselves. Yeah. Brilliant thing. Just do it sort of... You've got to remember this horse has never had any proper groundwork done. And Emma certainly doesn't do groundwork. I think she might in the future now. But can you notice here that this horse... <laughs> When when Emma asks the horse to back up, the tail starts swishing, the ears go, and just 
doesn't want to give any space, doesn't want to back away. It's not kind of in his in his mentality there to think that he should do that with Emma. And you remember a lot of that aggression can come from that feeling. The more he yields to you, yeah. as in yields, yeah, yeah. regardless of what bit of his body it is, the more he sees you, as the more, as you've got, it's a partnership, but we got to run this thing. Yeah, yeah. Because we are in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Agreed? Yeah, yeah. So, um, the more he just yields to everything is yield, yield, hindquarters, yield. Can you send those that way? Those hindquarters. Go right round. Yeah, okay. Okay, good okay. Boy. Yeah, Hi. good. Give him a little rub every time you... Right, okay. Now, that was unrequested for motion, so I'd back him up three pages. Because he, he came into you. I think One, two, fine. three. Okay. Good little boy. Little rub every time. Just touch him. That's it. Just a touch. Okay, that's good. Uh, now, again, we try and be graceful. <laughs> Just get into disengage. You said she's not being graceful. So, Lift, your, lift this hand a little bit, lift this, yeah. Go on, cluck those hindquarters over. Now go away from it, just come away. Keep walking. Did it. Yeah. Oh, like lunging? Just, well, it's, it's oh, just, just like walk away. Okay, stop and back him up. In all fairness, things aren't that bad on the ground. I thought they were going to be worse than this. But you can see here, as soon as Emma asks this horse to, to, to give space. See the expression on his face there? And his tail goes worse, even though there's flies around. Um, yeah, it, it, you can see that he's thinking, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to do this. He's more of a 50-50 basis that, than being the one that uh, does as we, as we ask. Go and disengage my horse, then, then walk away. Now walk away. Now stop. Now stop. It took me ages to get one what he meant by that. Oh. She's actually very good. She's very, yeah. It took me so long. When you say walk away, I'm like, do I do an extra so, circle or? There's a few things when you're leading him, definitely stop him and back him up. Yeah. He's got to yield a lot to you. Yeah. The more you can send that uh, hindquarters or away. disengage. Yeah. But don't keep hammering it to him because you think, well, I've done it and you've, yeah. you keep going. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just, just, just do it a couple of times. Um, I'd lower his head down a little bit. So. Around you here, how would you go about that? Do you lunge him much, Em? No, not no we don't eat, yeah. Never, never have. Yeah. Don't look at him, look at him. So again, you can, you can see, see the horse as soon as Emma asks him to move his feet where she wants them to go, to move around her, he just, he just doesn't, doesn't like the idea at all and, and he doesn't want to yield that much, not happily moving for her. So, you know, yeah, definitely there's things showing up that, uh, you know, that I think I could improve. Look, he stood away from you already, like once a bit further good, away. You don't drill this. No. It's where a lot of people make mistakes. Once I've got my ground up to where I want it, yeah. it might take me an hour, it might take me a week, it might take me three months with a horse. Yeah. Once my ground works where I want it, I never do it again. But what I do, it's all quality leading, so I'll come and catch him. I I back him up a little bit, Mum, thank you, and then I'd walk and I'd stop a couple of times. I might disengage him, I might get him to wait at the gate for me, then I might send him through the gate. But by the time I get, get, get back there, you've done a lesson. We've done it. Yeah. But it's I not wasted, all right? Yeah. Now I might put it on with him a little bit now. Yeah, crack on, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Now I've just taken hold of the horse for the first time here. Now you've got to have a look at his right front foot. He starts to walk into me, guys, here. Look, I haven't asked him. To. So right that second, as he starts to move into my space, that's where I immediately got him to get out of my space. I knew I needed to do something that's meaningful to this horse because remember what could happen with all of this aggression that's starting to get worse. So I I was quite pleased that he did that, actually, because that gave me a chance. Now I've bumped him back and relaxed now. Now I've moved him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I do. So 
you never look at their face. Well, I'm going to make it personal with their face. Okay. Okay. Um, I would just look at his feet. And in the proof, now that was unrequested, too, too towards me, right? Yeah. So any unrequested into my space. Straight back. Straight back. That's yeah. unrequested for moment. And he'll start to, to, to gather that in his mind. So, right then. So I'm going to have him on quite a loose rein here. But when I stop, watch my foot. Exactly what he needs. Yeah. Watch my foot. Right. Watch watch his back. Watch his feet now. Yeah. Right, so very quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna tut, not cluck for back tut. I'm gonna tell him because this is gonna be a big deal for him. Yeah. Which is what he needs. Yeah. Um I'm gonna lower his head here a little bit. So I put a little bit of pressure on and I'm putting a little bit of a squeeze on here, on his neck. So when he just tries a little bit, I'm going to be releasing it, right? So, I'm gonna, right, I've released him there. Because what I'm trying to say to him now is, I'm a good guy. I need respect. Yeah. But I'm a good guy, all right? So you'll see a sleepy look come on him now. See that? Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Right then, now I'm gonna I'm gonna firm up a little bit with this halter. So do you would you recommend a halter rather than a head collar? Now that you was thinking into my space then. Um, for that data, look, you can't there's certain things you can't do with them. You can't tie solid with them. Because they won't break like yeah. your halters. Don't think that's gonna just because it being thinner. Right, so just I keep going it. here till I get energy in the feet because it's, you know you were trying to get him back. Yeah. So I'm going to be a little bit firmer till he... There. You see how light that was? Yeah, there? he actually just went back by himself. Well, there was hardly no pressure. So stop. Thank you. Oh, I'm just going to leave that. Oh. So there's hardly anything happening at the moment. Knee stop. Uh, do you want the good deal or the? You took the good deal. <laughs> so we'll lower his head again. Oh. So this is about me showing him I'm not going to kill him. Yeah. But he has to respect me. Yeah. And if he respects me enough, it's not a hope he's going to pin his ears at me. No. Do you see what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yeah, take yeah. a little while. Okay, so, so I'm gonna. So do you feel he's pinning his ears at me or the food? Uh, well, I think it's that whole. He's never. Look, he pins his ears. He still gets his feet. Yeah. You think about what I just said. Yeah, hundred percent. So what are we training him to do? Yeah, to pin his ears. Would he be getting feared if feared if he pinned him at me? I'd go back two hours later. Be a Keep skinny horse. Now, do say she what? wants weight on it. Be a skinny horse. Well, well, no, they figured it out. Uh, so, um, let's disengage this side. Right, it's a bit slow there, so I just stop. Thank you. Look at this. Yeah, good boy. Um, right, can I get a foot forward? That's all I wanted for now, just a foot forward. He wasn't sure for a second. So now, can I have a foot forward? Yes. Stop. Back up. Oh. Yes. So like we were just talking on the way, it was so hard with flies at the moment to do anything. Oh uh, yeah, just... because the flies are not helping. No. All I'm looking for at the moment is a good attitude about sending a foot forward. There. Without having to do my rope too much. Yeah. Stop. Back up. Yes, you got that, son. You're getting that, son. Can you go forward? Yes, you can. Can you go forward? Can you go forward? Can you go forward? Can you go forward?
Now, I don't know if you can notice, guys. I think a lot of you will like notice this. Ooh. I'm on his right-hand side here. It's not the side we spend enough time on. He's very defensive. He's more worried. He's anxious here. That's because I'm on that other side. Yeah. That's where I always say try and do things with quality and grace. And I drop the rope a little bit too fast for this, the sensitivities that's there on the right hand side. Uh, and I made a little mistake there. Always with the quality and grace, I wasn't graceful enough there. I can't finish the dash because that wasn't a good way to end. actually a little bit of a rise like this is good because they they're constantly working a little yeah. bit aren't they yeah yeah definitely. i've slowed this down again here guys watch how he starts moving into my space to walk through me there and i'm on it immediately and it kind of shocks him a little bit i say no that can't happen now it, you know i've backed him up here gone with him here it's so important that he doesn't walk through me when I've got to tackle the feed in a little while, so I'm establishing yeah. leadership. You'll have a great rain back if you get this going. Good. I don't see. I want. I want this absolute respect from him. He, he put his weight on his it, front there. Yeah, to come just in. just to see. So Thought about it. Yeah. That. I didn't miss that. Tell him how good he is. And again. That was again. See, it's good you're noticing. Yeah, yeah. You're noticing when it's on request for motion. Um, so that's, that's good. Now, can you go forward with your feet? Yes, you can. Good boy. Stop. Now I'm gonna go on this side. I've been on that this side. Yeah. This side, he'll probably be, well, because we lead him this side, he's used to push on people this side. That's what happens. Yeah. We lead here. So they're used to this coming yeah. in and pushing on us without us realizing it. And they tend to move a human when we're here, they're moving us constantly. They don't miss that. You with what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Constantly moving, that's why. He'll do it with, um, like I try not to let it to happen to me. Yeah. But he will do it with yeah. my daughter. It doesn't, get, it doesn't get missed. And it's virtually every horse. Stop. So can he go forward? Yeah. Stop. Back up. Whoa, mate. Even with all these flies. The horse flies are bad this year, aren't they? Yeah, really bad. Now, what I'm doing now, it's really important, especially a horse that can be aggressive. Yeah. Or pretend to be aggressive. Yeah, but yeah. Like I say, eventually one day. Is I'm going to set him up now. So I'm going to ask him to go forward, but I'm not moving. I'm in front of him. Yeah. So I need him to go around me. Right. Do you want someone yeah, to say Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to get... Yeah, you don't well, want him. I don't want that. So he's got to... Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, instantly. Yeah, good. Tell him I noticed that. Tell him I noticed that. See how he's dropped his head there. So is that what I'm supposed to do? So now again, I've set him up here. Didn't do it the other side because he wouldn't have, this is the side they tend to push too much. Yeah. So, I, you know, so can he go? I'm going from nothing now. Yeah. there again you can see here what i was looking for as i've asked to go forward there he got it he arranged around me can you see him reaching there with his front right shoulder out out and around me not forward and into my space out and around me absolutely perfect makes a big difference when you can get that going well obviously this is just the start Yeah, you can see and more, it. And more respectful of me. Yeah. You have history. Yeah. With him. Yeah. So it won't be as good. You have to work on it. Yeah. Because he's gonna. Have to, they know where everyone is. Yeah, yeah. 
they know they've got their masters at deducting is that a threat is that eyes looking at me through there they yeah. know he knows you he knows your smell i'm something totally totally different to him he's thinking whoa yeah he leaves me yeah you know uh right so okay again little clock yes see i'm asking i'm rewarding everything he's doing that's right yeah you know uh so light look light light as a feather mate light as a feather right so have we got a gap somewhere uh probably up by your stables now really yeah yeah. Okay, look, we're well, going to the stables. Stop. Back up a little bit for me. Thank yeah. you. Right? I'm not wasting this. I'm coming towards the gate. Yeah. Um, I might pick this. Oh, you thought about stopping then? Yeah, I might pick this up. I might back him up with me holding this. Okay? If he pins them, he's backing up all the way around the field. Thinking he is quite a lot, doesn't he? They're not flat back. There must be a consequence. He's got to think it's not the best in his interest to pin them at you. Yeah. Because if he does, He's something get a within three seconds, yeah. no abuse, but it's going to happen. It has to be. Yeah. So the more he does it, the better. If you can do your timing with it, you've got three seconds. If it's over three seconds, he has no idea what to do with pinning. Yeah. It's like a mother and a foal. Yeah. Some of that wallet. Yeah. Within that, so it has to be immediate, it has to be no anger. The reason I keep saying don't look at him because I know you'll do this, right? Yeah. Everyone does this yeah. at the eyes, right? Yeah, so I do. always say, <laughs> look at their feet, because and, and try and smile because anger is so hard to be angry with it if you force a smile. I promise you, yeah, it's the best thing I can say. No, <laughs> no, um, no, I'm tutting and not clucking. I'm tutting for back, cluck for forward. Right. I find tutting for back, it's still a repetitive and it helps them. Yeah. They know the difference, okay? Tut for back, and always, look at the feet always. Yeah. Um, and we've got to, like I say, if he pinned his ears, I certainly wouldn't be putting the feet, we've got, we've got to discuss how to start doing yeah. this differently. Well, he can have a feed up there and you can see what happens now. Yeah, well, we'll go and have a look, yeah. Um, and, and the consequence of any aggression yeah yeah it has to be but the important thing is i'm not wasting now bringing him here yeah. because look i'm coming i'm coming to the gate look i've got quite a long road yeah. watch my foot here yeah. the reason i'm doing that he'll do that for me without doing that but he won't for you so if you do a little yeah. movement yeah okay. make it that's why i do it with darcy yeah. You know, I've just had forward motion. Yeah. Because it's important we have forward as well. So I'm going to come to the gate. I might have a crook on there or something. Stop him. Now I might ask forward. Ah. I'm asking to, now I'm going to get my hind quarters. Now I'm going to back up. Now I'm going to tell him how good he is. I've done everything all in I've that just done it all. Okay. Boy. So now we'll go. Eventually yeah. you can. There was no ears back at the dog then. I don't do anything because... What are you doing? Yeah. Oh! Pfft. Very respectful there. Okay. Now we're gonna see. Is it, you've never shown him a flag. Never. Okay. Well, we're gonna rub him with this first. Rub him with the flag. If you just move yourself out of the way. You might have a bit of a freaky, freaky, freak. He's got to know that this is connected to his feet. So I'm gonna just ignore him for a minute. Just know. Him 
right? Yeah. Stop. Back up. He's going to know that he can get rid of this by doing something with his feet. Right. Okay. When I say rid of it, it goes from active to nothing. Nothing, yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. So this could be what we need if he pins his ears immediately. Yeah. And then as the ears come up, it's gone. It's gone. Because you've got to have more than one tool here. Okay. okay. Right, yeah. So I see it's going to have a meaning. So I'm going to just ask for a foot forward now, all right? So I've gone from neutral. Yeah. All the way to foot forward. So now I'm not. Yeah. I've gone. This is how you start proper lunging. When they do the right thing, it's gone. Yeah. And then you increase on that. My, my baby's lunge beautiful just at an ass with my arm because they know what everything means. Right then, so neutral, I might just play around with this. I should, it should have no bearing to him because I'm not you connected. You haven't asked him to do well, I'm not connected to him, so no. you're getting real used to stuff. Now, difference, when you go, now he's got rid of it. Does make it sense? Yeah. Uh, this is a tiny, now, can he back up and give me space with it? So I'm going to look at his feet, I'm going to shake this, but he gets rid of it when the foot goes back. Yeah. Right? Done. 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 Eventually, you could get live with Oh, Dad, I'm just answering the phone, okay? Yeah, I don't know who it is. Now, that foot now. Hello? That foot. So, guys, Charlotte just took an important call, and I don't want you to miss anything so it's just a minute if that here so basically i'm just introducing the flag here now i've gone from neutral to asking a shoulder to move out there and then look at the left shoulder there it's gone so that's what i was talking to there was the shoulder reach so i'm trying to get him to realize it makes such a difference if they can realize that that flag is connected to to their feet and they can get rid of the flag now i'm asking for the right shoulder to go there it went just a little try so I said, okay, gave him a break. So he, once they start to realise that flag, they can get rid of it and it talks to their feet. It, it's a game changer. Here you'll see that left shoulder. When I asked him to go forward now, he worked it out in the field. Now here, I'm asking him to go forward. Now he starts coming in with his left shoulder. He's coming towards me. So I tell him first with my hand, I block him. And then that, now look what he does there, guys. I blocked him and now his right shoulder's moved away, it's given me space, I haven't got angry with him, look at my demeanour, stayed where I was, he didn't manage to move me, big, big, big thing that is, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. for him, how he feels about me. Yeah. A little bit laboured. Yeah, yeah, um, I've never done it like that. So. Sorry guys. Oh, no, we, you're yeah. not taught. No, exactly. This is, this is the yeah. future, this, oh, this is right. kind of training now, is what's coming, yeah. it's 2023, things have changed. Yeah. This is so old, it's newer then. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not fluffy, well I do. It's not fluffy at all. It's not cosmic, it's real. It's real, so yeah, it yeah. Is. It is. Uh, there you go. Now this, this is a bit more nervous this side of this flag. Yeah. But for now, yes, he wins. So why would that be? Well, yeah, because everything with a human, look at that back up. Yeah. Now, there's a certain amount of fear in this sort of moment. Yeah. By about a week, fear's gone. It's all about communication. Yeah. Right. Uh, the reason that would be, and I'm going to get rid of that, tell him how good he is, because imagine you come this side and you catch him here. Yeah. You approach him here. Yeah. You put this on, the altars, this side. This side, yeah. You lead him this, this side. side. yeah. You put your bridle on. This side. You put your tack on. Yeah. This side. You do it up, this side. Yeah. You get on. Yeah. This side. Yeah. You get rugs. Off. You Even get rugs. Off this side. Not always. Well, <laughs> yeah. well people do. And then yeah, we go. We go. We take the bridle off. This side. Yeah. Tack off that side. We go. Everything's this side. There, there. He's pretty young, so he's not badly balanced. But yeah. that's why he's more. He, yeah. He's so used to having a human. Yeah. This, this side. side. Yes. Yeah. Make so it sense? it's good to, you know. Oh God. Good the, to do. I. Oh. Was, yeah. You've answered your own question. I will stick a saddle on this side, hey, look, mind. I, I do. I do that much that side. It's incredible. Uh, I wish I could get on that side now. I can't with my hands. No, I that. can't. The kids can, can't yeah, they? They fly on. on. So I'm going to be kind, really kind now. He needs to know that he's not in trouble with me. It's just that I 
move his feet, he never ever yeah. moves mine. Yes. And once they know that, they yeah. accept that. He's got respect for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so the most balanced horses I've ever come across was when I lived in America, the cowboy horses. Because what they do, they rope both sides, they get on and off, whichever side it is. Yeah. They never leave one side, they yeah. always leave with the horses behind. So they leave front like, oh, like way you back, were yeah. doing back there. Yeah. yeah. You know, it keeps them balanced. Uh, they get off, they, they get off, off and on this side as much as they do that side. Yeah. It's all balanced. Yeah. Okay. And then they, you find a lot of horses, he's not bad, but a lot of horses are so imbalanced, they'll ride well to the right, yeah. not so well and stiff to yeah, the left, to the because left. what happens is that eye looks up at you. Imagine that, that's tipped that way, yeah. sees you in the eye. So it does really, and usually when they're stiff, we look down at them for yeah. being stiff. Yeah. Hit, they look up in the eye, they're not, they want you on this. They're so used to having you here, yeah, so they don't turn so well that side. The more balanced the horse, the better, honestly. Yeah. Right. So, look, you know, for, for a session one for him. Yeah. You don't want to overdo it. Overdo you know? it, yeah. But, no, we, we, I'm just getting on with him now, really. Yeah. Which I'm getting on with. So we'll put him in there now. Yeah. Um, now, again, I'm not going to waste, I'm bringing him up here. Yeah. So, yeah you're not going to waste what you've just done. Yeah, so look, I'm just stopping. Yeah. Now I'm going to say, right, will that open for us? Yeah, yeah. This is safe. This is safe. So nice. now I'm going to ask him, Right then, okay, now tell him how good he is. But while he's in his stable, I want to um, ask him to disengage his hindquarters in the stable. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, I'm going to come down the side he likes. Okay, now step that out there. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'll come the side he's not quite so good on. Just moving him around so he doesn't move me. Can you take that shoulder there? Yes. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. Can we lower that head down a little bit? Shall we? Look at this. Look at this. Good. Good. Right then, so we'll take this off. Dinner time. <laughs> you might not end up with it today. No. But I certainly, um, if it was in here, if it was in here, you know, I, I yeah, so I've done would that. send them in. Yeah, yeah. go on. So I, I've done that. So yeah. basically, um, I've, I've put the food in. Yeah. He comes up walking on the yard with his ears back. At, he's like, he's coming in and then you eat it. Oh, still ears back? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Well, basically, it's like Wyatt Earp went into a... Uh, into one of the saloons once uh, and he shot his shotgun in there and says my name's Wyatt Earp it all ends now it has to end yeah it's more difficult because he's convinced he's doing the right thing because he's been fed for that totally I totally agree do you agree with that totally yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. He, you're, you're rewarding him for it of course you are yeah. do we not so put we his know it. down and stuff we no, know it he's oh, right. so good you get, right so what I'm going to say to you is this right the flag now has to be. Hello, Wally. I can't believe how big he's got. Yeah, I so, know. The flag will come into play anytime. Those is, there's the barista on vision. I'm not. I'm not eyeballing him. No, no. He might hit his head on there, but uh, when them ears are pinned round for you, that comes into play and backs him up to my stack. Okay, he's going to end up a skinny horse, isn't he? <laughs> well, no, he, he, sh he should sort, sort himself out real quick. Yeah, okay. Right, okay, so where's the feet then? Right, so. So here we go, guys. Let's see. In, in, Emma comes with the feed bucket. Watch the, watch the expression, the ears. Now, I've got to be within two seconds here, and I was immediately for pinning his ears. I flagged him, but he already knew that the flag means move your feet. And I move him straight back right. out of the way that, for for Within two seconds, then. It's here. Yeah, it's you, this thing. Well, you know, you came here. Yeah. It's, it went flat back. Yeah. So, right. So I'm going to try and get my timing right now. Charlotte, can you see in there? Oh, you were better from the other way, but uh, yeah. Yeah, but I've got to see. Can't see yeah. Okay. Right, then you can go in there, then now. So, over time now around the stables, if those ears are pinned, 
for whatever reason. Um, and I, you know, it's got to be his idea not to do it. So we hope he does it lots, so he learns that he doesn't pin them. Yeah. It's all common sense, Now I'm watching his ears now. I'm watching his ears. Look, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Look. Like right. normally, yeah. already there, yeah. he would be yawning. Yeah. Right, okay. And all this. And you got to give it me now. Like, literally. Are you doing it to you? Yeah? Yeah. Is this better than it was? Yeah. Definitely? Yeah. Now I'm going to go further. Okay. I'm going to back him up away from here. Okay, I'm backing him up. A bit more. Stop. How bad is this? Truthfully. How what? Come here. Come here. How better is this? Oh, like 99%. Honestly. Right. So the only way, now, now, now I wasn't expecting to, have to be able to give it him this quick, but he's done something right for me. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to send that foot back. There, I've looked at it. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm putting pressure on him till he looks away. Watch this. This, right now, I've stopped. See? Yeah. See that point there? Yeah. Right then. Now he's, he, he's not coming till I say, you gotta look away, he's looked away. Now I come out of the play, right? Now I come out of play. So when he looks away? Yeah, look, you won't get the timing bang on, as I, know I you did. Mean. You won't not get it bang on. Not once did his ears go back in that no. thing. Not once. No. Other than the first one. No, he one. would not have got that. Even, no, no. Oh, until I approach and he works out, how do I get it? Yeah. This doesn't get it. Yeah. So common sense, isn't it? But we're not yeah. told, are we? No. So, but it's all like, so all I'm making here when I'm making, right? Oh, be aware of where. Look, don't bring him up here until it's made. Use right. your loaf. Try and, okay. look, eventually, yes, but you've got to go through a few months now of so, I mean, maybe have it ready. Do your groundwork, bring him in. It's not going to be as good as mine. Don't get angry if it's not. I've been doing this so bloody long. Yeah, yeah. Mine's no idea. All I'm showing you is the possibility of making this good. Yeah, yeah. One, you've got to be alpha. You've got to move his feet. He never moves yours. I think he should. It's. You should bring him to mine. Yeah. And I think you should have a couple of sessions in my little. Um, yeah. Uh, cool. My little. Um, yeah, yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. And you have some lessons. The yeah, last thing, the first, the last thing you do is the first thing they learn. If I got you doing all that now. Yeah. You would loot. He needs to. The last thing he does, which is just that. Yeah. The only way he got that was respect me, move yeah. his feet back, look away, don't pin his ears, yeah. don't get aggressive. That's how he got that feet. Yeah. So I think to we leave it at that. Yes, yeah, so no. I've got to learn that groundwork. Yeah. Before even doing that. Yes, because that's yeah. what I've just. Yeah. What I've just established yeah, up yeah. there is very that. quickly is I move you. Yeah. You never move me. Yeah. So why would he pin his ears at me? Yeah. Now it does happen. Uh, to be honest, Nita, every now and again, it's not at me, but now and again, I'll go in with Nita and she'll flat, flat her ears a little bit. Yeah. And I'm really on it quickly. So it, it, it will happen now and again, yeah, but be yeah. on it, be on You've it. You've got to be on it, yeah. But not, mm. yeah. Do you see, Good I style. never once, I'm looking <laughs> through, yeah, smile. It is a mad smile you got actually, it's frightening me that <laughs> Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah. yeah. All Don't I, get angry. All I'm showing you here is a possibility. Yeah. It's up to you to but I would come to mine a couple of times. Yeah, 100%. I would. Yeah. Uh, you should come, bring him, and I'll do a bit of groundwork, and then get you to do those, because you're going to struggle with some of them. But try them. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. ruin my work. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what I've shown you is it's possible to get this aggression, aggression gone. Yeah. Um, and then when you've got it good, I've got it good, you've got it good, you're kind of on the right track, then you get the, your daughter to do it because he's. Because she's going to be someone else now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, then yeah. you kind he of. He will it. walk into Ella. Well, that's got to stop. Yeah, hundred percent. So the more we get him used to this, yeah. you see the benefit of these. How yeah. we're starting to say, well, you have the ability to move you, yes, sir. Yeah. You know. But see, um, he did something different here now with you on. as well. Did you see how he bit that door? When? When, when you told him to back it, he didn't. No, he, I didn't. Know. He, did you see he bit the door? And I thought, he never bit the door before. I didn't it was know whether it was. like he bit the door instead of putting his ears back. Well, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you might be did, right with that. Did you? Yeah. I yeah, thought that was his yawn thing that you said he does. Like. Uh, but, no, he, he does like proper yawns and this tongue's no, hanging out. While and, like, he's eating, 
I'd let him to leave him alone. Okay? I always do. Because he's done, he's done yeah. what I asked. He made yeah. right. I got that thing where he looked away. But if you feel that this isn't going in the right direction, yeah. as it has with me, yeah. which is very possible because you've got a history with him, he's pinned his ears at you and you give him his feed. Yeah. How many times? Yeah, How many exactly. thousands of times? Yeah. He's Had convinced. A year and a half now. Right, a year and a half yeah. of training him. But we don't realise it, do we? Yeah. I'm, let, I'm letting you off the hook a bit. No, I don't <laughs> mean. Uh, you inherited the problem though. Uh, yeah. Charlotte told me he was like this when you got home. Are you 100%? So, so you yeah. haven't caused this. It's, it's never happens with your other horses. No. So you've inherited it. You haven't yeah. really known what to bloody do about it. To learn how to use one of these, yeah. and you need to get a couple of these off Tanya. Yeah. Because they, they, you know, they last, they last forever. Yeah, they're yeah. Things. Don't eat them on a wall. But yeah. they are the best thing I have ever had for training yeah. horses. Yeah. I've done the initial. You might have frightened him to death, and you, and you might. A lot of people will, will use this and it, all it does is frighten them. They don't realise it's yeah. to do with their legs. Yes, so that's what I've just done the start of. Yeah. So we started thinking, I'm not I'm getting less fearful of this. Yeah, you all don't it means need to frighten is, him with a flag, it's just to tell him to move his legs. Yes, but they respond to it. Yeah. And Molly used to know when I used to go to Loader, I wouldn't even wiggle it, but I'd have it and she'd yeah. just walk and straight well. on. Yeah. So so you're gonna need in your pocket ready, yeah. if someone's coming up. Yeah. Or you go in there. Yeah. In fact, I'd always have it ready. I'd always have it there. Yeah. You back him off that feed. Um, if it makes sense. I think that that's that enough to start. Do you yeah. want to put this, him back out? This could get. It's not going to be five minutes. You could end up with the sweetest horse round feed if you if you carry on with this. Yeah. So I think that's enough. For today. Are you, who's yeah. going to put him out? Uh, okay. Going in there now yeah. should be no difference to bringing him in. Yeah. Uh, nothing's wasted. So if I have the halter. Where'd you put it? I'm going to put the halter. I can see it down there. Right. Good boy. So. Right then. See if he'll come. There. Tell him how good he is. So there, I've yielded him. You're yeah. going to get all this done. I'm saying this is the start of it. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I've yielded him. I've asked him to put his halter on. Nicely. I'm thinking, will he go forward into my space? He hasn't. Will I be able to just lower his head? Yes, beautiful. Right then, so now we can go with respect. Yeah. If he tries to come now, i do something about it. i yeah. disengage him, I'll back him in the corner. So I might come out. Nice long rain, look. Okay. And then, I might stop, look. Beautiful. Yeah. Shall I give him you now? Yeah. And if you go, I'll get my stuff together. You take him and put him out. And then uh, Good boy. Okay. Do you want me to walk over with them? Yeah, you go with. Go. Mine are all different with me and dad. Oh yes! That was a good one. Even though he had Bertie up his bum. Oh, did he? <laughs> yes! Oh, Hiya, Bert. It's been a couple of weeks uh, since me and Charlotte visited Emma and Ollie. I kept forgetting Ollie's name. Um, how do you think she's got on? How do you think it went? Brilliant, guys. Can't tell you. Charlotte said Emma's absolutely over the moon. Uh, that Emma had never really done groundwork before, never saw the importance. And she saw something in that session that uh, sparked something off. And she is religiously done the groundwork and made huge differences. Uh, one of the messages back uh, that Charlotte showed me was, I can't thank you dad enough. Totally different horse now. And she sent, even in the field guys, I'll show you a clip now that was sent uh, showing um, major, major difference in him in the field. Uh, you know, so I'll show you that clip now. 
over the bank. There he comes. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Are you all right? He's a good boy. Well, that was a good happy face. Good boy. <laughs> awesome. That looked really good to me. And then a clip came through of the average feeding evening. Uh, so I'll show you that now. I was so impressed with this. Uh, so here we go with that. Music on, guys. I saw it would have been copyrighted, so I've had to uh, do a voiceover. But look. Emma goes in, moves Ollie around, moves his feet in the stable. Usually there was pinning ears by now because of the feed being close. A totally different look about him. Look, um, look at that. And then fair play to Emma. Goes in with her flag. Move, his feet move back there. And she's waiting for that little point now where he looks away for a second. Right there. Puts the feet down. Timing was bang on. Perfect. Good news, baby, back. <laughs> Good pony. And all around, much, much better. Very important that, that, uh, that those changes were made. And it will be up and down, I've said to Emma. You know, some days it will kind of regress a little bit. Keep it up. Don't feed for the, for, for buddy, you know, for threatening behaviour. Do not give him the feed for that. I mean, he's bulky enough anyway now that he had to have not, not be given the feed for a few days, then that's fine. Um, so the last clip I'm going to show you now is something that's awesome, actually. Charlotte and Charlotte's friends all put together for Emma's 40th birthday. And it was a photo shoot on a beach, local beach to here. And it just typifies how it should be, how, you know, it's the dream, isn't it? The mother and daughter... Uh, riding their horses on a beach through the waves and just having real fun S pretty safe fun really for what horses can be uh, so i'll show you this now and then uh, we'll finish things up <laughs> I can't play bertie's also on ella's birthday photo shoot um i don't know if you remember before i went to a uh, emma's 40th birthday party <laughs> Look at that pony go! <laughs> well, I think that wraps the video up, guys. Hope some of you again have learnt from from the things I've shown you there. If you again, if you're uh, over your head with it with aggression, get help. Get help from somebody. There's plenty of horsemen that can come and help with things like that. Another reminder, last demo of the year, guys. It's Saturday the 14th of, 14th of October, Indoor Arena. It's the last demo we, we're doing of 2023. Should be a great, great one, guys. We've done one there before, and it was a great, great venue. Everything was great, and the cafeteria, the feed, everything. Uh, so that's that. What's the motto of this video? Don't accept threatening behaviour from your horse, guys. If you can possibly do something about it, do something about it. it um, it's not a good thing. It's not a good look. And a horse will only threaten for so long. And then, you know, the that threatening behaviour can turn into aggression. So really get on top of that. It's a big thing for me. I don't like pinned ears, bear, bar, uh, bearing teeth and all of that sort of thing. Swishy tail. Even when I ride, I mean, I see some... Some some riders riding horses, I would never name any names, trainers even, and their horses always swish and ring round. And, you know, it's, it's, a horse can only talk to you in certain ways. Pinned ears, uh, uh, the whites of their eyes for fear, pinned ears, swishing and ringing tails. So if you see one really ringing badly, you know there's something not quite right with the training. 
So I think that's about it. Now, guys, you know where I, what I'm doing at the moment? Finishing this video. I'm waiting for Dan to come because we are about to set off. I'll say within the next hour, we're off to the Isle of Man, the Manx Grand Prix. It's not the TT races. It's a different one. Later in the year, this one is uh, where some of the bikes are older, a bit like... Oh, God. That's my ride. All packaged up. All ready. All ready to go. That's and this is what Dan's riding. It's actually owned by James, my son James. Uh, he loves this bike, so we've got we borrow in it. And there's a saying: if you bin it, you buy it. So if anything happens, we've got to buy it. But uh, yeah, it's all prepared. I'll get warmed up in a little while. Actually, Dan's taking a, a rucksack, so he's not sort of got luggage on like mine. And to get ready. Uh, but we're off on the bikes. I'm meeting some of my friends there. We're there for about four or five days. We go over on a ferry, and uh, the bikes are put on the ferry, tied on, and we're off. Uh, I went to the TT races pretty much 20 years running, so I really miss the place. It's a great atmosphere. And no speed limits, guys. We have to be a bit careful. But when you're not in the towns, there's their national speed limit means no speed limit. But you're not allowed to do drive dangerously, but you can go as fast as you want. So we'll be opening the bikes up a little bit. Wish us luck. Really looking forward to this break. And uh, I think that's about it, guys. So I'll say goodbye to you. There, oh, there is horses in the Isle of Man. I think we're going to see uh, one or two as well while we're over there. So we're going to blog a bit of that. So that'll be something that uh, certainly good for me to watch when I get back to blog it. Uh, so that's it. Again, like, subscribe, comment, share. It all helps the algorithms, keeps these videos going. And that's about it. So happy trails, guys. Wish me luck on the bike. See you all soon.